this is going to be my cycle four review on Vitex. Now, let me tell y'all, okay, cycle four has been some kind of a roller coaster, like for real. I know y'all see probably stuff moving in, the, <laughs> in this window behind me. I'm driving. I'm on my way home from work right now. This video is long overdue and I can't never really find time to like sit down and do it. So I'm just doing it while I'm on my way home from work while I have the time to do it. I have like an hour drive so I might as well make use of the time. But anyway, cycle four, okay, was a roller coaster. Um, it started off normal, normal period as the previous cycles on Vitex kudos to that but then i noticed that i've been getting these crazy 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 mood swings like one minute i'll be like perfectly fine then the next minute i'll be over happy and then the next minute i'm crying then the next minute i'm angry like i have never had mood swings ever that wasn't a part of my pms nothing now i always have weird symptoms like pregnancy symptoms all the time never been pregnant but I always have like these weird pregnancy symptoms but never was mood swings a part of it ever I am not the emotional type I rarely cry I rarely like show any type of care to stuff that I really just don't care about this month was like terrible terrible my emotions were like all over the place and then I got like bumps all over my face like not like all at one time but like during the month like I just would get like these huge juicy pimples all over my forehead all over the sides of my face I have one under my glasses nose piece so it hurts terribly bad they're like leaving black marks it's just like it's just terrible so what I did this month this cycle that I didn't do the previous cycles what could be the cause of all of this craziness is I started taking two pills a day instead of the three pills a day that I've been taking. Here's why. Now on the bottle, it says to take three pills daily for 12 weeks. Now my 12 weeks then came and going. So I'm like, okay, maybe I shouldn't be taking as much still. So let me start taking two pills being so my 12 weeks are over. No, bad idea terrible idea okay so i did that for the whole month for the whole cycle just to kind of see like maybe it's just like a little adjustment issue that i'm having so let me just continue out this cycle doing that and hopefully it'll just everything get back on track no the entire cycle was just as how i explained just pimples and emotional wreck crazy right so this cycle, I started cycle five already a couple days ago, and I've decided that I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm going to try to see if my body will actually does what it's supposed to do without the Vitex. So, so far, my period came, and it was four days as it was while I was on Vitex. It went off, and then I spotted for two days. That's a little different, but it wasn't too bad of spotting. Like, it wasn't super long or, like, super obnoxious. So, I'm going to um, track my cycle this month. I'm going to, you know, do the ovulation test just to make sure I ovulate the same time I was when I was on the Vitex. If it's in within the days or whatever. I don't want to go too far off course because I finally got my cycles from 18 months to between 28 and 31 days. So I don't want to get too far off of that. Um, if this month I don't ovulate on my own or my next period that comes, starts off next cycle, is absolutely terrible or if I spill a lot more awkward PMS symptoms or anything that's just off track from what I've been doing for the last four cycles 
I will get back on the Vitex because obviously it does help. It's just that I need to stick to the right dosage because that just works for me. Now, I didn't want to be taking more than what I was supposed to, which is why I started taking the two pills instead of the three in the first place after the 12 weeks was over. But that just might be my set dosage. Um, but other than that, I would not recommend decreasing or increasing once you find exactly what works for you. Okay? So three pills work for me. If I ever have to get back on, I will just do the three pills a day and leave it at that because decreasing to two was an emotional episode with a climax of acne that I just don't need. So now that that show is over, I'm just going to see if my body can do its thing on its own and I don't have to depend on it anymore. But if I do, then that's just what I'll have to do because I cannot go back to horrible periods no period sometimes I mean I just can't go back to the unknown so we'll see what, what my body does this cycle and then that'll determine if I'll get back on or if I can stay off but um, my entire experience from cycle 1 to cycle 4 has well from cycle 1 to cycle 3 has been awesome with the Vitex I haven't had any crazy symptoms I haven't had any weird anything it's just been perfectly fine until I started taking the two instead of three for cycle four that's when things got a little weird and I wasn't with it not at all mood swings can't deal with it acne can't deal with it so we'll just see what happens and then go from there for cycle five